Hello everyone, my name is Mimi. Hi, I'm Hunter Phillips. My name is Pai. I'm Olivia Johnson. I'm Andrea Abrams. I'm Bob Nesmith. I am Stacy Peebles. I'm Jeffrey Chan, and this is Space Center in Depth. I think I never really imagined my senior year is going to be this way. Um, yeah, everything shifts so suddenly, but I want to say that I have more time with the friends that I make over here now. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a silver lining, but I think I, I really enjoy the time with the friends right now. Um, but it does feel very, very strange just to not seeing everybody around at all. There's only so few people on campus, so it's kind of very quiet. Uh, but with all the meetings happening, it just kind of makes me realize how much um, Center kind of care for their students and just kind of trying to figure out uh, the best possible way to deal with the circumstances right now. So I think it's just kind of like uh, I miss all the students here and just kind of the comments are really quiet and depressing, but at the same time, it's kind of also be supported by all the meetings and everything that center is doing to at least help the student here and also trying to figure out what to do, like what the next steps will be. My initial reactions, there, there's kind of two. Um, one is it's very deserted. Um, it's very empty feeling as a whole. When you're walking around campus, you, you see very few people. Um, the parking lots are almost completely barren with one, maybe two cars, and JVAC even. Um, and so that's just kind of, it gives a, that sense of desertedness. Um, however, on the other hand, for the people that are here left on campus, um, it is a very much a big uh, community bind, uh, binding uh, and bonding time. Uh, just being able to come together uh, with the same people and just getting really close with them, whether it be eating uh, lunch or supper together or watching a movie or going hiking. We just have these uh, experiences that uh, are kind of drawing us together. So I don't think that we will personally go back to a state of normalcy for the time being, but I do think that there are modifications that we will take moving forward, especially taking certain things like this seriously. Um, so I think that for the future of the college, I think that we will take more precautions um, especially pr to prevent things from entering our campus and also to protect students and faculty. I'm not going to be here next year, um, but I'm a pretty optimistic person and so I feel like people are going to come back and, um, and kind of bring back the new energy to um, change the situation and, and you know just kind of coming back strong and even stronger together. Um, hopefully, um, and I'm, I'm pretty optimistic about that. Um, just seeing actually the video that Center released a while ago in YouTube, how different faculties and staff members are talking about, you know, how much they believe in us, and I also believe in them. I feel like Center gonna bounce back um, pretty well. There are a lot of uncertainty around because of what is happening in general, so I don't really know how the center is going to come back or when it is going to come back and when it's going to be normal again. But I think it's all still like strengthening the center community a lot with a lot of uh, like you, you get to know you can take things for granted, you can you kind of realize you can take your friends for granted that you will see them in next two months. So I think when we all come back together it's going to be uh, a lot stronger in a way. So despite all these drawbacks that are happening, I really hope that you guys at home are using this time to kind of tap into your creative selves, like take this time for yourself and take this time to make sure that you're healthy and safe. And also take time to appreciate the things that are around you and what you have. I think this is a good time to reflect and to kind of just appreciate what you have. I miss you all at Center, but can't wait for you all to, to see you all on Zoom classes with virtual backgrounds. Um, also to our seniors, really, really hope to see you all back here again for commencement. Yeah, I think uh, my biggest thing is uh, just stay in contact and be in community. Um, this is in particularly uh, important for seniors and then for the people that were close with seniors. Um, as a lot of us 
didn't really get to say a great goodbye or an adequate goodbye. Um, it was very rushed, for good reason, but still very rushed. And so uh, my advice is just to make sure th those people know how much these last few years have meant to you um, and know uh, how important they were to you. Uh, well, my reaction to the campus atmosphere is that I don't know much of it <laughs> since I'm working mainly from home at this point, um, taking my classes online and also uh, homeschooling my daughter who's seven. Um, so she gets one end of the dining table and I get the other. Um, I've, we've come up to campus a little bit uh, to get stuff from my office and just to move around. Um, and it's quiet, but it's nice. I mean, there's still folks around. It's um, it's a little bit like summertime, like middle of summer, uh, July, when so many people are gone. So it's not entirely unfamiliar uh, to those of us who work here year round. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a little extra quiet. Well, it's, uh, I was writing an email yesterday to uh, our admitted students and, um, and saying that normally spring is a time of a lot of activity around here and a lot of beauty. Um, and the beauty's uh, still here. The, the trees are blossoming and uh, um, today it's 70 degrees and sunny, uh, but, but the activity is, is all gone. People are finding different ways to connect though, uh, and it's been really interesting and enlightening. Um, we're all learning a lot of new tricks. Um, uh, who knew that having a Zoom meeting could be almost as effective as meeting in person? There's some creative energy that's been unleashed uh, by all of this, um, and um, and that's that has some excitement to it uh, and some positive energy to it. I think people will get back to normal pretty fast. Humans are adaptable. Uh, this is a really warm and caring environment. I think the faculty and staff have really tried hard to be as supportive to students as they can during this period. And so I think that it won't be that hard. I think everybody will actually be eager to come back and to have as much normal as they can when, when we can. Well, I think we all hope um, that, um, that we're able to resume normal operation in the, the fall with uh, uh, greeting our students uh, in late August and doing all the things we normally do. Uh, I think it's inevitable that, um, that life for all of us everywhere is, is going to be different even, even after things uh, go back to normal. I think Center will be uh, different, um, but that doesn't mean in bad ways. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're discovering new ways of doing things that some of which are going to be valuable and carry forward. Well, normalcy for Center is always everybody being connected in one way or another, right? So we're working so hard on that, doing it virtually, and we probably all appreciate how great it is to be in a room together more than we ever did before, right? You know, at bottom, I think, that's kind of what the center education is about, the center community is about, but, you know, in times of crisis, in times of challenge, like we'll rise to to that challenge and try to find a way to stay connected even if we can't do it physically. The one message I would like to share is to remind people that our true character is revealed during times of adversity. So for people to really concentrate on being good to each other and being kind and generous and not just to each other but to yourselves um, during this period so that we can really show the true character of our community as being supportive and loving and generous and servants to those around us. Here at Center College, what I've noticed from afar, uh, because everybody is from afar, uh, is that everyone is still doing their job the best that they can. We're just doing it separated from each other rather than close to each other, but I'm allowed to be close to him. So, um, uh, but that's what I've noticed, is the intensity, uh, the determination, 
uh, to do their best and whatever it is they're doing has not changed one iota. In fact, maybe it's intensified, but everybody understands that we have to kind of do it in our own channels. And I think Center's reputation during tough times is, is to have to bring out the best in each of us. And, and what Susie said about doing what we can to, to make things better, uh, to encourage each other, uh, that's kind of the, the part of the culture that we've taken such great pride in. And in tough times, um, it matters more. So what I want the students, especially, who are not here to know is we will go on and this too shall pass and the trees do bloom again uh, the flowers do bloom again and you students will be back here and you will bloom again you know i tell you students particularly you students sometimes that my expectations that i have for each of you are greater than you have for your own and that's not just a clever saying it, it's something i really believe i i have every confidence that these kind of difficulties will help to make you stronger and, and more resolute about the good things that you might accomplish with your life of work and service. That, that's what the center education is all about. That's what our professors and all the staff people who invest themselves in you expect, uh, anticipate being true as you guys go on into your life of work and service. So Susie and I are just so very proud of the people, the people who are a part of this campus and our community. I, uh, I think when you're faced with difficult times and some disappointment, um, how, do you, how do you make your way through it is, is you, you look to be remembered that you are loved and you have responsibility to love. And uh, stay the course, as Susie said, and, and lead with love. I'll go with that. I think what I'd like to share with the center community back at home is the answer to the question that the, the internet has been asking us all. Um, if you're wondering, yes, all the toilet paper is in fact on our campus. Um, I went downstairs to our, uh, our supply closet and we have 120 rolls of toilet paper in our building. Um, so it's all here waiting for you. Uh, we'll be ready and well supplied with the TP when you come back. And, and we'll see you soon.